vegetarian and I am a newly veganized mm -hmm. person and we are going to be asked questions by my carnivore fiance about what it's like to be vegan and vegetarian or why we are vegan or vegetarian yep yep <laughs> what caused you guys to become a vegetarian or vegan you go first uh probably you um <laughs> <laughs> I thought that meat uh was fake meat, and Andrew told me it wasn't. <laughs> she thought that all meat yeah, was fake. Yeah, I just didn't think it was from animals, and I was really like eight, and I think he scarred me for the rest of my life. Yeah. So, yeah. so she's been a vegetarian since she was eight years old. Yeah. And I just became Well, there were like a few like little relapses when I got fat in grade five, but like, <laughs> you know. When I got fat in grade I five. I did. <laughs> um, and I kind of just decided it. I have a lot of friends. Um, that are vegan and vegetarian, and like nine months ago, I was like, you know what, screw it, I've always wanted to do it, and now I'm ready, and I did it. Cold turkey, just cut it all off, and I feel ten times better than I did before. Mostly emotionally, not really physically, I feel the same physically. <laughs> okay, next. Is it true that there's ever once been one fat vegetarian and vegan? Yes, yes, there's lots of fat vegetarians and yeah. vegans. Can you name any off the top of your head? Best I can't. Diet I don't ever? want to name names. <laughs> <laughs> We're, <Myself>. not. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here to uh, make people yeah, yeah. feel bad about being fat vegetarians, but <laughs> it's happened. <laughs> There's definitely such a thing. Like, um, I watched a video on... Um, the girl who just ate cheesy potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. She eats cheesy potatoes, and there's um, Lucky Charms are vegan, I've Oreos are it. vegan. Um, Consider just eating cheesy potatoes. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> that <was> good. <laughs> Does being vegan give you superpowers? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> the rest of the world knows. We can't tell you. You have to yeah, become not, vegan and vegetarian in order. I'm not allowed to talk about that. To join the club, we have meetings every Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> How much would it take for you to eat some beef jerky right now? Like money or I'd say what? money. I'd like I would money. take money for it. How much? Yeah. Maybe like three hundred dollars. I'd eat the whole. <laughs> the whole bag. Three hundred dollars. You throw your money um, away for three hundred dollars. I'm just gonna I say more like a couple thousand, but sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do plants have feelings? Hope so. I have some succulents that I'm like Maybe. convinced do. Yeah, like his like, name David, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you got feelings. Is it true that Hitler was evil because he was a vegetarian? No, but he did attend the meetings every Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with peer pressure when you go out to eat? There's no um, peer pressure. You don't. You just eat what you want to eat. I don't oh, think anyone, like, even if no you're a meat eater, eat chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even if you're a meat eater, I don't think you can be pressured into yeah. eating something you don't want to eat. <laughs> What's the, the most ridiculous thing you've been asked other than these questions today about being vegetarian and vegan? Oh, this morning when we went out. What? She didn't ask me a question, but we went to Cora's this morning for breakfast and I got like a skillet, but I said no eggs and no cheese in the yeah. skillet, so it was just potatoes and veggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the lady was like, oh, no eggs or cheese? And I was like, I mean, you could bring it if you want, but I'm not yeah. going to eat it. <laughs> so she didn't ask me a weird question about it, but she made me feel a little bit shitty about taking off something from my meal. I get a lot of people go, um, you're a vegetarian, do you eat fish? Don't yeah! You know? it's That's like a vegetable. Like, why? I'm like, no. I would think that fish is not meat. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly like a, some sort of animal. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, or like chicken, like a chicken. Yeah, do you eat chicken though? That's a bird. What about free range chicken? <laughs> yeah, like, it's still it's eating still a thing. chicken. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Do you guys let anything slide from time to time? Not as a vegetarian. I've accidentally uh, 
taken a few bites of things that I was like, oh wait, this is that meat in it. This that meat. Especially in if it. it's like hiding in a sauce or something, yeah. and you don't know, and someone just hands you food. Yeah. Maybe they don't know that you're a vegetarian or vegan, and sometimes you just like take yeah. the food. Like I'm ravenous. I just eat. When yeah. People hand it, and I'm like, that tastes a little. And weird. I'm like, wait, is there meat in this? Yeah. But like, that's yeah. Yeah. I ordered a a bean burrito from Taco Bell the other mm -hmm. day, and they gave me a burrito, beef. and oh. I bit into it, and I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's not our fault. <laughs> that's like, I know. That's, that's Taco Bell's <laughs> fault. Awful. What is your opinion on eating, um, like dairy? Okay. Well, she's a vegetarian, so she eats dairy. Yeah. Um. Do you drink like cow's milk though? No. Yeah. I. It's like. It's cheese, I know right? It's bad. Like, I know it's terrible, yeah. but, like, I love cheese so much, and, like, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, Yeah, but I love cheese. No, I've never liked dairy. I've never liked milk. Yeah. I've never liked yogurt. No, I, I don't hate, I hate like milk. dairy, but when it comes to I hate eggs, cheese, too. it's, yeah, I don't, I mean, I like eggs, but I only ever eat them if I go out to eat breakfast, so yeah. it's not hard for me to, like, not eat them. Yeah. But cheese, yeah. But cheese is an, an addictive, like, it's actually, like, addictive. It's an opioid. Oh, it's and, like, so good. So it's really hard it is. to give up. So we're trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't judge us. <laughs> One day. What's your favorite vegan dish? Um, I'm obsessed with, like, ratatouille. Like, really? like, a, like a bunch of vegetables baked in a tomato sauce over, like, quinoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just the best thing in the world. Also, just, like, all the carbs. Like, anything to do oh, with pasta. Yeah, that's true. Um, I like vegan macaroni and cheese all the time. Oh, it's me too. So good. It's so It's, like, more cheesy than real cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And butternut squash. I'm oh. in love with butternut squash, I so mean, I don't care. No. It's completely fine. <laughs> what about honey? Okay, well, honey? she's not a vegan. Yeah. I know she's not, but what do you think of honey, then? I thought at first that... The whole honey thing was a little bit ridiculous. I was like, come on, like, they don't die when they make it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. bees make honey in the wild anyways. Yeah. Like, if you were to go and, like, smash a beehive, like, you would get honey even if, you know. But <laughs> I'm still undecided on honey, but I watched a video on it and it kind of made me, like, rethink what honey actually is, but. I don't eat a lot of honey anyway. I really only eat honey if it's, like, in something. Like, yeah. in a granola bar or something like that. That's about it. Is breastfeeding vegan? Yes. Then why is dairy not vegan? Because are you a baby because cow? You're, yeah, are you a baby cow? No, but it's the same thing. It is not at all. No. Baby cows come out weighing 90 pounds. Human babies come out weighing 7 to 10 pounds. You're eating, you are drinking from my breast human hormones. You are drinking from cow breast I cow like, oh, hormones. Oh god. That milk is made from the cow to make a baby cow weigh 2,500 pounds in six months. So, seems a little bit weird to me. What about French kissing? That uh, exchange of saliva. Is that what vegan? French kissing, like, what? Veganism <laughs> has nothing to do with human <laughs> bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything you want to say to um, anyone that's vegan out there right now? Anyone that is vegan? Yeah, and having a hard time with it. Uh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Good job. You chose to become oh, vegan. Pinterest. <laughs> Pinterest. Recipes on Pinterest. Oh my god, 100%. And watch other people's videos you on have a Whole Foods. YouTube. Yeah. I have a Whole Foods. I don't have a Whole Foods. Yeah, we don't have that here. Go to a nice grocery store. Um, and if you're struggling, watch more. Yeah, That's what everyone like, thinks. Like, oh, it costs more to be vegan or vegetarian. It really. No, it I doesn't. don't think it does. Like. Well, you would know. I, I really don't. Does it? We're looking at the mom no, no, in the room. No, it's okay. okay. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it really, like, I haven't found any difference. Even my mom's like, wow, I buy vegan meat. Like, yeah, like, meat is expensive. Like, real meat, meat, like, is real meat is expensive. How do you guys deal with people that are close-minded to be vegan vegetarian or vegan? I just don't deal with them. Yeah. I just got a big deal. It's, there's no point in arguing with people like that. That's what I find, like... Like, I have a lower rate of heart disease. Sorry. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sorry you're mad. Yeah, I'm not going to clog my arteries. Like, I just don't understand. It's like arguing with someone about their religion. I'm not going to argue with you about eating meat. Yeah. I'm not going to force you to become a vegetarian or vegan if you don't believe in those values. I can't do that. Because I'm not going to be able to convince you otherwise. Cuckoo. Yeah. Any questions mom wants to ask? 
However, the movie Cowspiracy now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen that. Yeah, movie, Mom would like to plug the movie that. Cowspiracy because that might change your mind. My mom at that movie was like, "Oh my God, we're throwing out everything." <laughs> That was the first movie that I watched, and um, Forks Over Knives. Yeah. Even movies like An Inconvenient Truth. Yeah. Like environmental movies. Oh my god. I was obsessed with Al Gore when yes. I was honestly probably <laughs> nine years old. Yeah. A major part of the reason that I decided to become vegetarian yeah. in the first place was environmental reasons. Like, factory farms contribute to like 80% of greenhouse yeah. gas emissions like that's ridiculous to me also have you ever seen a cow okay so thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed us answering some really weird questions about being bit. vegetarian and vegan hope you learned something i hope you're inspired to become vegetarian or vegan and um like subscribe do all that fun stuff and we'll see you next time okay bye <laughs>